Hi, welcome back. In the last video, I gave a little bit of an overview on what human playback is and how it affects the playback of our score. And if you recall from watching that video, I brought up the topic of working with suspended cymbal rolls, timpani rolls, and other instrument sounds that require the use of a three slash tremolo to be notated properly. And obviously, that's, they're not necessarily required to have them play back, but most people, when they're writing a suspended cymbal roll or a timpani roll and such, they'll probably actually want to put those three slash tremolos on them. So the easiest way of getting around that is coming in here to our human playback style and just sending it to none. And then you're saying, well, Brian, now how do my, my cool diddles play back here? These are just going to play back as these straight eighth notes without the, the single slash tremolo playing back my diddles. That's what we're going to cover in this video. And it's pretty simple. Um, I'll just go ahead and play it back so you can hear what it's going to sound like. All right, so that's before we've done our little bit of magic on it. What I want to do is select the part that I want to affect. And honestly, what uh, what I know that I and a lot of my colleagues will do when writing here is they'll go ahead and write in everything they want and then maybe even zoom all the way out and select anything that might actually have single slash tremolos on them. Go ahead and zoom back in again. And then you'll come in here to the plug-in menu. It's a little electrical plug. Come down to TG Tools, and then choose Smart Playback. Now you'll see you have quite a few options here. You have the ability to affect glissandis, uh, hairpins. There's a few more things over here, uh, override human playback. But what we're most interested in is the trills aspect. Right here we've got trills, tremolos, diddles. Diddles, that's our little buzzword. This is essentially going to take anything that's a single slash and uh, double it for us. And you'll see I've actually already got the three slashes uh, unchecked here. That will be checked by default. But if we have that turned on, um, that would affect any three slash uh, tremolos. So say that's how you prefer to write buzz rolls, you want to make sure you have this turned off so you get the proper VDL sound. Um, so what this is going to do is create these in layer four. So if I click go, you can't see them at the moment because I have them hidden. So if you come in here to view, show, and this will probably be turned on by default, uh, hidden notes and rest. This will actually show all these notes we just added. So you can see there's some right there, some over here, some over here. So I'll just go back to view, unclick that. Now let's give this a playback. All we'll hear is the snare part, but it affected the tenor part as well. Um, so some might argue that even with the human playback turned off, it actually sounds a little bit more mechanical, uh, but oftentimes in rudimental percussion, we're going for uh, a more controlled mechanical sound. So that's just another option of a way to get your diddles to play back if you prefer to uh, notate other things in your score using those three slash tremolos. And on that note, in the next video, we'll be working with the suspended cymbal roll. So if you stick around, we'll see you next time.